A very pleasant afternoon, my beloved brothers and sisters. Once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. In this part three video, and the title of this video, part three, White and Black. Brothers and sisters, there is a big debate that is taking place in the international community whether God is white or whether God is black or whether um, the first people he created was white people, black people and black historians, white historians, educated people from think tank university and institution individually as a group and as an institution having that debate in the United States of America and all over the world. But I just want to remind these people who are having that debate that Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, this little Christian child, way down in Trinidad and Tobago, will have no part in that debate, not one iota, brothers and sisters. Because I already stated, and I'm teaching you all, that God can manifest himself in any color, white, pink, black, green, and yellow. But all the debate is going on is whether God is white or black. They are limiting God to only two colors, white and black. Why no one besides Eric Braxton are coming out to say God is, is a pink and a yellow and a green God? But I know all the true saints in the body of God could say so. But maybe none of them are not saying that. And even some they are saints that God are saying God are pink, black and he can manifest in any color. They are thinking the right way. They have grown up. Because I expect all the true saints in the body of Christ to grow up in Christ, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, so I, Eric Braxton, will not be taking part in that debate. Because when Jesus Christ come back to this earth, whatsoever he color he is, is, whether he's a black God or a white God or a pink or green or yellow God, we human beings that he create, we will have to accept that, live with that and abide with that, and we cannot do nothing concerning that. So with that knowledge in mind, let that resident in your heart, mind and soul, and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it, comprehend it in your heart, mind, and soul. Receive it in the mighty and the powerful name of Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters in Christ. Those on YouTube, all over the world, on the internet and World Wide Web, who will happen to see this video, let me remind you all once again that I, Rev Raxan, will have no part in that debate that is taking place in the United States or so in any country that they have in that debate whether on TV or radio I will have no part in that debate brothers and sisters because I am making my state clear my, 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 my saying on this very clear by teaching you all that I want you all to move away from the color white and black all colors is important but do not get stick up with white or black Whatever color God is, we have to accept that and abide that. There are more important things in this world for, us, for our mind to focus on than to study whether the first man God created was white or black. Or whether Jesus Christ was a white God or a pink God. That is not important. You all hear what this little Christian boy is saying? I am saying that to find out whether Jesus Christ is white or black, that is not important. Or to find out whether the first man or first woman he created, Adam and Eve, was white or black, that is not important. Let me remind you all once again that what is important is for us, well this message is directed to all these people who are so concerned about what color God is white or black. My advice, my ad noble advice to them and instruction is left for them to follow it. And so all these white people and black people that have been there, that debate in the prestige auditorium and in the prestige um, civic center and in the town hall meeting that they're having the debate or whether outside in the street is for them to come together form the fan community com committee the front parts of the world and pull it and raise funds money and take that money and go and help poor people in the community not only the people in africa or the tribes in south america but poor people in chicago poor people in australia poor people in different states of America where people are in object poverty that bring relief and comfort to them see that they have clothes, see that they have drinking water um, medicine etc etc that is more important in to find out what color God is or what color the Messiah Jesus Christ was or whether the first people he created was the African or the new bands or the white race that is not important we all when you look at the human family we already know the color that God created all of us white black Indian Chinese so with that in mind is for the human be human family to unite 
unite in love, unite in the love of God, unite in the peace of God, and for us to love one another because love is the fulfillment of the law. That's what is important, brothers and sisters. And I'm emphasizing that truth. I will be postulating that truth, teaching you all that truth for you all to focus all your mind on that. Which is, which is more important to find out whether God is white or black or whether the first people he created was black or white, brothers and sisters. So, will you all follow that instruction? All people all over the world to form different communities in your little community, different communities, five, you, could, you all could find five person in a community, six people, 20 person, and you all raise funds. And that fund all raise, that money now will be able to go to help poor people. You will be able to buy stuffs, medicine, clothing, and ship it for people and send that, that, that goods and medicine to people in Africa, the different tribes who are in object poverty. Send it to the people in South America, to the people in South America, the tribes in South America who are naked, who need clothing, brothers and sisters, um, who are still living in, in huts made out of leaf you all could buy material go down there and build build concrete structure for them to enhance the the level of um living to bring comfort to them that is more important to find out whether god is white or black and i will keep on emphasizing that and keep on teaching you all that so so brothers and sisters if i have to remind you all that a million times and 1,000 times in recording 1,000 videos, I, Eric Braxton, are determined to do that, to bring all your, to all your senses. Because right now you all are caught up in that bait, whether God is white or whether God is black, or whether the first man he created was white or black. What All what you all are doing there is a waste of time. But you all are not seeing it as a waste of time. You all seeing it as a very important prestige discussion you all have in. That's what you all think. But I, Eric Braxton, will not be carried away by all the debate whether God is white or whether he is black or whether the first people he created was the black man or the white man. I will not be caught up in that debate because that debate all you have in is not important. All you think is important. What I am instructing you all to do is more important than that be debate. So that's why I, Eric Braxton, will have no part in all the debate. So whether, the, so whether I come to the United States of America tomorrow and there's big debates, different cities of America. I really Braxton will no, have no part in that debate, brothers and sisters. Or whether I do not come to the United States of America, I will be recording video teaching you all, to, teaching you all about the importance, about the more important and essential things that I want to see that you all put into practice, brothers and sisters. And before I come to the end of this video, let me remind you in Africa today, the people that is in the countryside, they still, the men are still walk, running around naked with the big testicles out, with the women with the vaginas out. It is a shame and a disgrace. And they are living in huts. They don't even have windows, they don't have the doors. They have to feel the cold breeze. If there is winter time, they have to go to the element. They don't have proper utensils and all these things. Raise that money, raise that fun, buy material, brick, cement, wood can last long to build a good structure for them to live in according to the families, the individual person, two person, those who are wife and children bring medicine, bring clothes clothes with them so the men can dress properly and all these things, brothers and sisters, that is more important and to find out whether God is white or whether God is black or whether the first set of people that you create was white or black. What I'm saying is very important. Will you all do that? Will you all carry out my instruction? Will you accept this noble advice? Well, all those who will reject what I say now, saying what I'm saying is foolishness and what I'm saying doesn't make sense. Well, what can this little Christian boy, this little Christian child, Eric Roxon, do but accept, get down on my knees or fold my hand and go in prayer, cry, prayer and in supplication to my God so that he will move the ignorance from all your heart, mind and soul and that you all will truly comprehend this true lesson of reality that I am expounding and teaching you all. Well, I hope and I pray that you all, everything that I said in part one, part two and part three, 
that you all will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in all the spirit, in all the heart, mind, and soul, in the psyche of all the mind, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. So, I, Eric Braxton is coming to the end of this video. I just want to say once again, may the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends. In no other name, but in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye bye.